Last night, the Deathmatch Conquer event has started at New State Mobile. In this video, we will talk about the event, so we want to look at the challenges you need to complete, as well as the insane rewards you will be able to get for it. Furthermore, we want to look how to do them in an easy way, and how to combine them with other things to make even more out of the events. So if you are curious about all that, just stay tuned and watch this video until the end. Thank you guys for being here again, really appreciate it. If someone else is new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for free to my channel. Here we go, Deathmatch Conqueror event has started and it will be there for 28 days, which you can see there on the top right side. So it should end on the 28th of April at server reset. This event is split into station as well as arena, which we can see there already on the top bars. Um, at the bottom we can see total progress, which is an indicator for how many missions you have completed yet out of the 24? Yep, you heard right, 24 missions, that's quite a lot. Uh, if you complete them all, you will get additional 15 chicken medals, which we can see there as well. So this is an event totalizer showing you the progress for the entry reward of 15 chicken medals. The event is split into station and arena, as I said before. While we have at station 11 missions to complete, we have 13 at arena. So it is not split 50-50, it is a little bit more focused on arena. Hey, that event got, or that mode got just recently added, so I understand it. Um, and we may have some greater news at the April update for this mode as well. So, these are the missions. We want to have now a look in every step of it. So let's switch over to this side and have a look at the station. It is divided into four sections. We need to deal damage, we need to play matches, win matches and use a frag grenade. The rewards are for sure increasing during these stages while we are getting for the first stage less than for the last stage. We will have a look at it later on. We need to do 1650, 3300, 16500 and 33000 damage for the four stages of dealing damage. That sounds quite a lot. It means 330 kills that is quite a lot definitely but you need to play 50 matches in any case for the second mission 120 and 50 matches and you need to even win half of them 110 and 25 for the next rewards so the missions are not working against each other they are working perfectly with each other that is the good thing so you don't need to do one thing in the one match and in the next one you need to do the other thing um, so they are combinable that is really good and if we look at it 50 matches okay we have 330 kills you need to do quite a lot of uh, the kills there seven in average that should be doable in station and we need to use one frag grenade on top of it if we have a look at arena that is getting worse yep we need to deal more damage while we can do less in arena in arena if it is a full match length of seven rounds times four players we can do a maximum of 28 kills but we can revive the guys and or the enemies can revive their teammates and we can do further damage in station we have a total of 40 kills to do to win the round so yeah we can basically do a little bit less damage in arena and our task is to do the double amount at the last stage 66,000, so that's 660 kills or a lot of assists which we, when we have a look at the uh, mission um, right after this picture, we can see that we are doing a lot of damage while hitting the enemies and not maybe getting the kill. We need to play 120 and 50 matches, that is the same. So here we have now the double amount of kills. I think playing matches is not the limiter here. Damage could be the limiter, so we need to play more than 50 matches if you're not a perfect player and do every match a lot of damage. It's possible. 1000 and something uh, damage per round for 50 matches is 66,000 damage. You need to win 25 matches, so half of it, use a frag grenade and revive teammates 5 or 10 times. This is an additional mission here as we can revive our teammates. If we look soon at the rewards, the first um, mission uh, stage with 3,300 damage, 1 matches, a win and one usage of a frag grenade and five revives will give you some BP, while the second row most likely gives you chicken mats and the last stage gives you some royal chest tickets. If we jump back to that overview, you can see that right here, we have here at the station the first four missions, 
with BP crates, while we have five for Arena. If we combine them and sum them up, you are getting an average 3200 BP of that, which is not that much, but still nice to get. If we sum up the chicken medals, we are getting in total 27. That is quite a lot. That's 15 and 12 for each of the two modes, plus the additional of 15 at the end. That's 42 chicken medals, which you can earn during the event. That is nice. And the last stage, we can see some nice royal chest tickets. Six on that side and six on the first page. So that's in total 12 free royal chest tickets. That is insane. So these are the rewards. And how should you do them now? Hey, we have still the Cherry Blossom event. And there is the daily task to play three matches in Station or Arena and get five kills for 350 Cherry Blossoms. This event is there for some days as well, 24 days. So you can collect insane amounts of blossoms here as well, which you could scan, uh, spend even for an insane UMP45 skin or some chicken medals, BP crates, or whatever you want to purchase of it. So it is not only for this event, you can combine it with the cherry blossom event and getting additional stuff. And furthermore, Look at the achievement section. There is a complete owned section for deathmatch where you can get additional rewards as well. Yep, you need to do a lot of kills here. And hey, especially for um, station, you can choose whether this gun or another one. Focus on that and get some additional top ups of it. Yep, these rewards are at the first stage some BP crates as well. But later on, we are getting here uh, some royal chest tickets as well as some chicken medals as well. So that's just a little indicator of how you can combine it. If you have now a look at the rewards, I have completed some. I've played one game. Uh, I didn't win it. I lost it 0-4. So that should you give, uh, give you an indicator about the rewards. If we look at the damage, I have done 598 damage and we lost it 0-4. Hey, if we wanted 4-0, we might have done a little bit more damage. But 50 matches with the 1000 and something damage, that is possible. But I still think that the damage mission, the really last one, will be the limiter. So that's it. All you need to know about the event. If you have further questions, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks and a huge shout out that you have watched this video until the end. And we will see us in one of the next episodes about New State Mobile.